So last night, me and the little lad, we slept in the Slummit Grizzly Fall. So this is the new tent. Excuse the background noise, we've got a main road running just here. So this is the Grizzly Fall, the Fall Berth Slummit Quick Erecting Tent. So what I'm going to do, we'll go through how we got on last night with it, how did we sleep, and at the end of the video, I'll go through the tech and all the specifications. So today's video, we're going to try our new tent, aren't we? Yeah. We've got the Slummit Grizzly 4. I've got the Slummit Cub 2 already, which is absolutely brilliant on my bike and ideal for just myself if I'm doing a weekend or one night camping but I've decided to go for the bigger tent so when I do longer tours on the motorcycle and me and my me mate here are camping and we've got a bit more room we've decided on the Grizzly 4 so we're going to get that tent set up and see what it's like okay mate? Mm -hmm. So there's the porch, the porch is absolutely massive. This is the sleeping quarters. Plenty of room in here for two beds, aren't there mate? Maybe three. Yeah, you can get one in the middle. We've got our table. 
with our heater. We've got our little storage shelf up there. Plenty of room there at the end. So if you look, the airbed doesn't go to the end of the tent. So the length is perfect. So if I'm away camping in this for a week on my bike, I'll use this single airbed. I've got all that room to put all my panniers in, my luggage, or I could even use the double airbed and still have loads of room. It's good any it, mate. That porch is amazing, that is. That's brilliant. And the thing I like on the porch is the windows are zips. They're not just the little Velcro ones. So this is me and Trenty going to the shop. And we bro. Mm -hmm. What are we gonna buy? The football. The football. This is the lovely campsite. Yew Tree Farm. What you found then, bro? What you found? All I found was this. Looks like lava to me. All holes in. Good stay to you, Hans. Where are we going now, bruh? To the pub. What are we having at the pub? Chicken nuggets and chips. Chicken nuggets and chips. Cheers. Cheers. Well, there we go, we've just come out the pub, We're back at the campsite. I know it looks bright to you on here, but it's actually pitch black. It is, isn't it? It's getting dark now, the it sun's looks, set. It, look, it looks like it's just right in the morning, but it's actually very dark. You know what I've done as well, bruh? Kick the heater on. I've left the heater on in the tent. So it's nice and warm when we get there. Let's hope it is. I'm shivering right now. That's it, mate. Take your shoes off. So here we are, back in the tent. We've been to the pub, haven't we, mate? Uh-huh. What are you watching? Unspeakable. We've got YouTube on. Phones up there, hot spot in the signal, heaters on, plenty of room, he's got his popcorn, he's happy. Well, we'll settle down for the night. We've had our tea in the pub, we've played Connect Four for about two hours, and he's finally. He's crashed out. He's fast asleep. So it's a cracking little campsite. But God, that road is noisy. Because it's a country road at this time of night. It's got to be now about 11 o'clock. So, but I've got to say, this tent is absolutely mega. So much room in it. It's absolutely brilliant. It's a very good tent, this is. I'm well impressed with it. I was impressed with the Slummit Cub 2. But this is, a, this is a whole new level. The quality of this tent. It's amazing. Absolutely amazing. So we'll see you in the morning for some breakfast. We're up. We were awake. That's how cold it was last night. But not in our tent. We were lovely and warm. We had the heater on and it worked a treat. Right.
let's get some breakfast on. So this is it, the Slummit Grizzly 4. It's got the flash frame technology, which is an exoskeleton frame. So the frame's on the outside. We've got our windows and air vents to the side. Canopy cover at the top to stop any water ingress. This is the front porch area. The poles are from my Slummy to Cub 2 tent, so the poles don't come with this tent. So this is a four berth tent. So we've got a fantastic size porch. And some of the features in this tent is windows are zipped. So they are not the normal Velcroed up windows. The zip to the tent, same this side. That side is zipped. This is the inside of the tent, as you can see, our popcorn from last night. So we slept in it last night, it was absolutely brilliant. This is my Trekology airbed. So the footprint of this part of the tent is 230 wide, 270 long. So as you can see, there's enough room there at the bottom and up here. You can have the air bed this way. And again, there's enough room at the top and the bottom. So we've got both our single air beds in here. You'd easily get the single and a double air bed in here. We've got pockets on both sides of the tent. We've got our bug mesh all the way around here. And the nice little feature I like with this is they've put the air vents where the mesh bug is. So in the summer on hot nights and you have these open, you'll have some nice air circulation. A lot of other tents don't do that. They seem to have the mesh up here, higher up. But that's, that's ideal for uh, circulation. We've got our little canopy up here where we can keep our stuff on there. We've got a zip in the far right corner there put the electric hook up through. Well, that is some great floor space. And another nice little feature is on the door, we've got the bug net again. But the nice little thing Slummit have thought of is this tiny little triangle pocket here. And the good idea for that is when you open the door, you just stuff the door in the pocket. Little things like that will make all the difference. So I'm quite impressed with that. I love uh, the windows have got zips on them and they're not just the Velcro straps. So that's the porch area, which we had a chair in there last night, both our chairs. It was, it was high enough. High to this tent. If you can see, I can, I can get up on my feet. I've got a crate to be a down, but there's enough room for me to walk around. So that's the Slummit Grizzly 4. 3000 Hydrostat outer covering. It's a two layer tent. There's a couple of tents on this market now of these quick erect pop up tents. One of them used to be the Coleman, which is no longer being done. So I'd imagine they've stopped producing them. The main reason being theirs was a single layer tent. So you get all the condensation in the tent. This being a dual layer tent. You don't get any condensation. You just got a motor home there trying to manoeuvre. The guide ropes on it, system pegs all the way round. The inner tent is detachable. You just undo the little clips and it does come out. Absolutely brilliant tent. Probably the best tent I've ever owned. 
it's ideal if I'm doing longer motorcycle camping and I'm doing a week or a long weekend I've got the extra room to get all my luggage in all my equipment if I'm away camping with a little lad there's enough room for the two of us for both our beds so I'm well impressed with that and a lot of people have mentioned about the pack down size and the pack down size is not too bad to be honest it's 84 centimeters high by 19 centimeters wide by 19 centimeters deep now if I remember I think the Slummage Cub 2 was around the 72 74 centimeters height if I remember correct what I'll do I'll put these two together next to each other so you can see the back down size so there you go that's the difference in size on the right is a Slummage Cub 2 on the left is a Slummit Grizzly Fall. So that's all the differences in height. Pack down. It's not too similar in width. So what I'll do is I'll put them both on the bike so you can see how far they stick out from the side. Now the Slummit Grizzly Fall doesn't even come past the panniers so where people say it's the pack down size in my opinion that pack size don't mean anything if i'm camping i'm not carrying a pillion on the bike but for a tent of this size of this quality on a quick erecting frame there's not another one on the market i'm well impressed with it i'll put a link up to all the details but i highly recommend this tent and that's it that's our tent review from our february camp with me and trent in the slummit grizzly fall